Peugeot 307 1.6 HDI, 110 horsepower. I bought it with a bit of a problem, not knowing it's got a problem. It was lacking power. I discovered that the uh, the vanes on the on the turbo on the compressor side had been rubbing on the um, on the um, on the turbo itself. I'm not really sure why it's gone like that. I can only assume that uh, the previous owner, the nut had come loose and that had come off rubbing. Uh, the result in that is obviously it's knackered the uh, knackered the impeller. Um, it has sent loads of shards of aluminium into the intercooler, which I've got to flush it out. I hope it'll be okay. Um, I'll give it uh, a complete overhaul. I'll put a new um, exhaust size spindle in it, straight through, new compressor, all new seals, completely rebuilt it. Got the bits off eBay, 143 quid delivered, which is, which is good value really. 600 quid for a new turbo, so save a bit of money if it's okay. I'll give the unit a good clean out. Um, the exhaust seems okay, a few bits of uh, crap down there wouldn't, wouldn't hurt much. Um, more importantly, the uh, the feed pipe to the turbo. Uh, these are quite a sludgy engine, as I'm sure most of you gathered by now. Uh, give it a good clean. Uh, if not, replace it if you're not sure. Um, quite importantly as well, the banjo nut down there coming from the black block there. Um, it's got a gauze in it. Give that a good clean or give it a replace. If you're not sure, replace the bits. All starvation on these engines is, is uh, a contributing factor to turbo failure. This already this year, looking through invoices uh, from the previous buyer, it's already had two turbos. It's going to be a problem engine. The only real uh, way to solve the problem is, is the sludge is either strip the engine down, give it a good full deco, clean it out, or it's a new engine. I'm going to rebuild really this up, so it goes. If it uh, Cause me a bit of problem, I'll rebuild it again and give it a full deco. Thanks for looking. Uh, toodaloo.